Are we alone? Or is it only a matter of time before we discover life forms on other far-flung worlds? Are there habitable environments closer than we might think? Stored away within deep time, leaving clues within the rock record. The story starts with water, the beating heart of life. Although barren today, the planet Mars may have had a thriving ocean covering half of the planet. Until the day that humans set foot on Mars, we are left to study our own oceans, finding parallel between our worlds and that of our closest neighbor. Here on Earth, during the Jurassic, the sun and sea covered much of North America. As the sea regressed, the water evaporated, leaving behind salt flats rich with sulfates, rare perhaps on our planet, but abundant on Mars. Great tectonic forces uplifted and folded the sulfate-rich salts and sediments, forming the San Rafael Swell. The salts remobilized into sulfate veins cutting through the surface of the earth. A swarm of hot magmatic intrusions shattered the peace once again. Exceeding a thousand degrees, the magma's heat liberated elements bound within the salt crystals and sediments into hot fluids, potentially similar to past Martian fluids. Once the fluids cooled, microbial life could use the hydrothermal environment as a habitat. But as with all living things, a source of energy is needed in order to survive. Microbes can then use the chemical reactions between the fluids and the rocks as energy. Though warm and cozy at times, not all rocks and fluids are alike. The fluid may not have all the vital nutrients and energy sources needed for survival. The remains of this story are locked up within the bonds and crystals of the rocks, waiting to be discovered. Revealing the clues within the rocks using an electron beam, as they hit the rock, the electrons scatter and the elements of the crystals are exposed. Raman laser then can be used to measure the vibration of the bonds between these elements to reveal the crystal structures.
With this information, the long-gone fluids can be reconstructed and tested with modern microbes. Can these fluids support life as we know it? Can these microbes multiply in a single drop of water? Mirroring a plausible Martian environment, would they survive the dwindling oxygen and increasing stress? Perseverance, NASA's rover mission, is en route to Mars. Sherlock is the habitability detector on board Perseverance. And with its own Raman laser, will hunt for rocks with traces of a habitat on the surface of Mars. Will these Martian rocks tell the same story as those left behind by the Sandan Sea? Maybe the real question is, have we always been alone?